Welcome back to the operatory here at Glidewell Dental Laboratories. Today I want to share with you a case where a patient uh, had a lot of periodontally involved teeth and was in the need of uh, immediate dentures. Uh, however, I was worried that if I went ahead and took an allergen impression, I was going to extract some of the patient's teeth. So I went the digital route. Uh, I went ahead and captured the patient's uh, impression uh, digitally and I was able to utilize that file in order to fabricate a complete denture. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the video and I'll take you through the case. As you can see in these pre-op pictures, the patient presents with very poor oral hygiene. The patient is diagnosed with generalized chronic periodontitis. What I did for him was I brought him in and I wanted to showcase a digital impression for his initial impression making. And the reason for this is because taking a regular alginate impression, the teeth are at risk of being extracted at the time of impression making. So I went ahead and uh, utilized a uh, TRIOS, three-shape intraoral scanner. And as you can see on the screen, the impression making is uh, made fairly easy using the scanner. And the next step is uh, to actually upload all that information uh, that I captured from the, inside the patient's mouth onto a software it's uploaded and the denture is designed. Now before the denture is actually designed, what we did was digitally extracted the teeth. So uh, basically treated this case the same way as we would do in the laboratory on a stone model. We take it and we go through uh, which teeth we want to extract. And in this case, we want to extract all the teeth in both arches. And as you can see, we have an articulated model with the teeth missing now. So the next step is to actually go ahead and import a library of teeth to set up for the patient. And uh, before we do that, I'd like to go ahead and design exactly where the uh, occlusal plane is. And because this is an immediate, we're actually going to use the previous teeth as a guideline. The point is to remove the teeth, have the patient go home with a prosthesis, and, uh, and have something to wear uh, while he's healing. Any little adjustments and mistakes that we make with the immediate, we can fix with a definitive. So uh, the plane of occlusion is set and the arch form is also set in the uh, computer program. And the next step is to outline the uh, actual outline of the, of, the, of the denture base. So as you can see in the pink, the denture base is outlined. And the best part about using the software is that we can uh, move around where the wax up is for the base plate. So I think it's uh, extremely convenient to do it digitally rather than analog by using the additive wax technique, which would take quite a bit of time. And uh, the next step is to actually import the denture teeth into the software. And uh, we've already established our occlusal plane. And all we need to do is slight minor adjustments. What I really like and what I'm really impressed with is the ability to festoon the gingiva while this denture is designed. So as you can see, using the festooning tool, technician can go around each tooth and add wax or even remove wax if needed. And we have a nice 360 view of what the final denture is gonna look like. Now at this point, we have a digital file that we can utilize for the uh, fabrication of the final denture. One of the things that we do is actually print. In this situation, we're printing the extracted the edentulous arch, both arches, and also we're printing a denture. So a denture can be processed based on what the edentulous arch is. So we're going through the processing of the denture, and once we have that negative of the denture and the duplicate is taken out of the mold, we can place the uh, acrylic in its place and go ahead with, a, with the processing. An alternate method is actually to have the denture milled with acrylic material. So uh, if you want to go completely digital, and not have any sort of analog work, the entire denture can be printed. So here we have a nice final product. The denture is ready and the technician wraps it up and sends it back to me for the actual procedure. So when the patient returns to me for the second appointment, the extractions, as uh, you can predict, are fairly easy relatively, especially because of the patient's periodontal condition. So the teeth are gently extracted and all the sockets are curated and cleaned. And the good thing about this case was that um, because most of this, these teeth were retained with, with the tissue, the healing time was fairly quick, as you'll see in the before and after pictures. So here we have the uh, extractions completed, and the denture is uh, relined with CoSoft reline material and delivered on the second appointment. The good thing about this type of dentistry going digital is we're not really having to worry about extracting the teeth in your preliminary impression when a patient presents with this type of situation. 
along with the fact that it's actually extremely fun to do this type of dentistry. As uh, I spoke to you a little bit earlier, the healing time was fairly quick for this patient. So this is actually two days post-op, and we have a two-week post-op picture. So the extraction sockets are healing fairly well there. So there you have it, a digital denture fabricated and processed analog with the option of being able to mill the final denture. I hope that you enjoyed this presentation.